Hey everyone, if you're watching this, chances are you're in public relations. You're a PR professional because of the words that I put above this video. That's maybe why you're watching this. And if that is the case, and I can't believe I'm talking about this again, but please take heed to this advice. If you see a published article in which your client is not mentioned, never, ever, ever write to the journalist and ask them to edit the article to include your client or your company if you're in in-house PR. This is extremely unprofessional and you will piss off the journalist to no end. It is very rude to ask them to retract the article and change it to include your client. So never ever do that. This happens all the time. I'm very fortunate to be writing for USA Today uh, weekly for 24 years. And inevitably, the day after an article is published, I get a flood of emails from companies that were not included. It happens, you can't include everybody. But the right way to handle it is to ask the journalist, hey, if you're covering this topic again, can I tell you about our product, our solution, our service, our app, our game, what have you, and nurture a relationship with that journalist. I know it can be challenging to cut through all the noise. Everybody is inundated, but it's all about you know timing and about having relevant information and you know just developing a rapport with that uh, journalist, and that will go a long way. Never ever ask to have an article edited to include your client. You may you are risking being blacklisted by that journalist as well. So I hope you don't mind this rant. I just wanted to give you this advice and you can post your thoughts in the comments section, have a dialogue with me about it, or you can DM me. I know there's a lot of pressure uh, to have your client covered in uh, mainstream media, you know, for these earned uh, editorial uh, opportunities. So, you know, I get it. I know there's you're under a lot of pressure, but there's a right way and a wrong way to handle it. So happy to uh, chat with you about it. And uh, thanks so much. Have a good one.